What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on uh, should the New York Rangers amnesty Rick Nash. Rick Nash, um, I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him during the games. He, he's been invisible. I think he uh, he has one of those Harry Potter invisibility cloaks because I can't see him out there. You know, I'm, I'm on the verge of. I think I'm gonna call the state of New York and I'll file an Amber report for missing for someone that's missing because he, he's not out there. I can't see him. You know, as a, my right arm disappeared, but. Um, NFL draft, catching a few passes, but uh, yeah, in, in all seriousness, he's uh, not playing to the level he's capable of, plain and simple. And this is a guy who it hasn't turned 30, but still has 336 National Hockey League goals. I mean, it's worth noting, last year, his first year in New York, he uh, he had an amazing season, 42 points in 44 games. I think that would have been on pace had he had the lockout not happened and you know completely screwed everything up I think that would have been one of his best seasons I think that that's like a 78 point pace off the top of my head and uh, you know I think you look at Nash and you say to yourself this guy is big he's amazing he's got one of the best skill sets in hockey a really unique skill set given his size and he's not delivering he has two career postseason goals in 28 games and again I am one of the biggest Rick Nash fans there is I mean I, I was happy to see him I'm not gonna say I was happy to see him leave Columbus because he was the, you know, franchise player in that um, for that you know team, and uh, it's just been um, you know he he deserved the, the opportunity to leave, and you know he's left and it, he's been his regular season here wasn't great with the Rangers. He was hurt. He missed 17 games. I don't think he was healthy for a lot of the games he played in. Um, you know he had. Um, 39 points in 65 games a season, but you look at what he can do, and I mean, this is a guy that's led the league, he led the league in goal scoring during the dead puck era, I mean, back when 41 goals could lead the league in goal scoring, that's uh, the way that season went, San Luis, I think, led the league in scoring, but he's got a cap hit, almost $8 million, he's under contract through, I think, 2018, so my whole thing was, I was always plugging that you should amnesty Brad Richards, because he's got more years on his deal, he's older, and, uh, but... You know, Rick Nash isn't doing himself any favors. I think if they if they have until this summer to use their one amnesty clause left. They also used it on uh, Wade Redden, um, you know, about a year and a half ago. But I think you look at Nash and say to yourself, give him another year. And I think he's still tradable, you know, if you give him another year. And, you know, if he comes out in game six and seven against the Penguins and has two big games, well, you know, Maybe everything changes, but I think he'll be back next year. I think Brad Richards gets the amnesty. Um, you know, again, I, I like both of them as players. You know, they're they're truly uh, joys to watch. And I mean, Rick Nash has been an amazing player in the National Hockey League for a long time. Um, and you know, I just I hate to see him go. I hate to see, you know, he he wanted to be a New York Ranger. He gets to New York, and it just doesn't really work out for him. You know, the way you expect it. But uh, I wouldn't let one bad postseason ruin. You know what he's been able to accomplish and what he is to the player. I mean, he's not bad defensively. He's got size. He's got a little bit of tenacity. He's got some sandpaper in his game, and he's scored 40 goals um, I think twice. And I think last season he had 40, 21 or 44 games without so like a 39 goal pace. Is he overpaid? Yeah, but is he the worst contract in the last couple of years for New York Rangers? No. <laughs> I mean, you look at the deals that like Chris Drury and Wade Redden had, and look at what their track record was. It's like Jesus. Wade Redden looked like Matt Dillon. I mean, you know, he should sign with the L.A. Kings. It was a Hollywood joke somewhere in there. I, I, I was too lazy to make it. But um, you know, and again, Nash is uh, seems to be a popular teammate, but he's got to step up. You know, and I, I think he's been no show. And Marty San Luis has been invisible at times. And uh, you know, the, the team's got to. Come together. They got to play like they did in Game Five if they want to beat the uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins in advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. If they want to complete this little comeback they have going on. But um, anyway, that's why I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ on should the uh, New York Rangers amnesty Rick Nash. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.